Hi, everyone. Welcome to Mermaid Radio. You are listening to this week's Universal Energy Reading using the 16 Kauri and the Veve Prophecy Cards. I am Amiola Funke. This reading is in effect from today, Monday, May 4th through Sunday, May 10th, 2020. Let's get started. The Universal Energy Reading for the planet this week, C6 Kauri on the mat and Ling La Su Aizan in the Veve Prophecy cards. The planet is willing to use Eshu to work her magic and make it so that she can win her war against the onslaught of human violation. Earth Mother needs to, she needs to find a way that she can survive in spite of the fact that we're taking too much and we're using too much resources. We need to really slow down, go back to well-made goods and, and handmade goods, goods that use a lot of thought and that will last a long time rather than making fast furniture and fast clothing and fast food. We're making too much food and the food can't feed the planet. Although the food can be poured back onto the planet, if it doesn't have too many chemicals in it, it can be used as fertilizer, but the plastics that we use for furniture and all those wood finishes, they're kind of harsh for the planet. So let's try to reuse, repurpose, realize that we have to make better goods that will last longer so that we do not have to kill the environment. Ashe. The universal energy reading for the people this week sees nine cowry on the mat and tambours as shoe in the Veve prophecy cards. Here we have Oya, and we need to take care of Oya this, this week, but especially for initiated people. We need to sacrifice one hand to Oya and ask that as the world changes and as things tumble, forward because we're not going forward in a way that we're used to we're not sure what's going to become of our way of life after this uh, coronavirus so what we want to do is sacrifice one hand to oya so that we can land on our feet as after as the world tumbles we want to land on our feet we want to land upright in spite of the changes going on in this world Ashe. The universal energy reading for love this week sees three cowrie on the mat and Ezilio Shun Olodumare in the Veve Prophecy cards. And here between lovers, we see big fights. And the fights will be big because one or both of us is forgetting the good times that we have together. We're forgetting to appreciate one another. And so because of that, we will argue and really clash and it can be big this time it can be really we can find some really horrible things to say to one another and with three carry on the mat i would say it could get bloody so please let us mind our words to one another let us remember why we got together in the first place and what our plans are for being together so that we can stay peaceful uh, that's very important for lovers to try to maintain peace between them. Ashe. The universal energy reading for money this week sees 12 Kauri on the mat and Olodumare Azilio Shun and the Veve Prophecy cards. Here we see people working negative magic one against the other. And we're wishing other people's businesses will fail and their relationships will fail. But we can't really depend on our wishes coming true because there's going to be continuity. There will be continuity for people who are in business and for people who are in relationships where we make our prayers and we do our rituals and our ebos. We can see a con continuity in our money and in our relationships. Please get your ebos done and or what we call ritual sacrifice. So for this week so far, we have Oya is getting one hen and that should be done on Friday or Saturday. Most likely Saturday. Saturday's Oya's day. Friday's Oshun's day, but it should be later in the week. 
and not earlier in the week. Uh, Shay. The Universal Energy Reading for Health and Well-Being sees nine carry on the mat and Ling Les Su Agbao Rune in the Veve Prophecy Cards. Here, our health is in danger from sexually transmitted diseases because people intend to make other people sick in order to slow them down and to stop them from being successful. So, and that is a really hideous and horrendous situation that is negative magic in its fullness. So if you don't know people, protect yourself. Uh, I would suggest you just don't involve yourself. If you are fighting with someone or you believe someone might be jealous of you for any reason, protect yourself. Use your, your condoms and diaphragms and dental dams. And then you can always claim that you want to practice social distance. We have an excuse these days. Let us just be careful with our health and well-being this week. Ling Le Su is like arguments. It's disagreement. It's, it's another D word. Disregard people's intention for their own success and you want to thwart them because you are jealous or bored. It could be any silly reason. So let us protect ourselves. Let us be careful. Ah, Shay. The Universal Energy Reading for Spiritual Development this week sees nine carry on the mat and Shango, Eshu, and the Veve Prophecy Cards. Here, we are held in check. We're held in check for, the, for our own good. We can't go forward on our spiritual development path, and we can't go backwards. We cannot switch to another path. So we have to really stand still. Mind what it is that we do. We know what to do. Pour libation. Call out to the heavenly realms. Make our, set our intentions for what we want to get done. And this is what we have to do. We have to just kind of stand still in our spirituality and make the best of it so that, so that we can land on our feet when this whole world goes through its changes. The planet itself is going through changes. The people are going through changes, how we make money, how we look at money, how we love. All of these things are going through changes. So we have to really beware and take, take advantage of the stillness that's being enforced upon us. And it's spilling over into spiritual development. We need to be considerate. Also, we have nine carries so many times in the reading. Please, if you can, if you understand... Get your hand and sacrifice it to Oya so that you can make sure that you are in compliance with the time. It's good for us so that negative magic won't get us, so that we can really roll with these punches and come out victorious, alive, healthy, happy, comfortable, and ready for the next phase of our life on planet earth ashe this has been mommy olofunke's universal energy reading i thank you for joining me this week all my new subscribers i thank you for sus subscribing so you like this information and you find it useful please tell family and friends please add notifications to know when the next video is available have a great week everyone odabo